Hello biologists! In this video I'm going to help you understand how microscopes work and the difference between light and electron microscopes. Microscopes enable us to see objects that are too small to see with the naked eye by magnifying them. They can do this because of a property of waves called refraction. When rays of visible light go from air to glass, their speed decreases and they are bent towards the normal, which is a virtual line perpendicular to the surface of the glass. When the rays leave the glass, they are bent away from the normal. If the two surfaces of the glass are not parallel, you get a lens which can magnify the object in front of it, so we can see an image that is larger than the object. The modern light microscope dates back to the 1600s. It contains a series of lenses which magnify a magnified image and can therefore achieve a magnification of up to 1,500 times. For example, the image of an animal cell measuring 10 micrometers when magnified 1,500 times will be 15,000 micrometers, which is 15 millimeters. Since samples mounted on a glass slide and flattened with a cover slip are lit from below, we ideally want the samples to be a single layer of cells thick. And since most cellular components are pale or colorless, we use stains to allow us to see their features. So most cells are not as pink as they appear in micrographs. The resolving power of light is limited by its wavelength. Visible light has a wavelength of between 400 and 700 nanometers, with 400 being the blue end of the spectrum and 700 the red. Resolution, that is the smallest detail that can be discriminated, is limited to half the wavelength of the illuminating wave, which in this case is visible light. To explain this, imagine superimposing a pixel grid on a cell, where each pixel is 200 nanometers or 0.2 micrometers wide. Our animal cell is 10 micrometers wide, so we only have a grid of 50 by 50 pixels to represent this cell. This really doesn't give us a lot of detail. This is where electron microscopes, first invented in 1931, come in. But wait, isn't an electron a particle? Indeed so, but particles have the ability to behave like waves, and vice versa. Indeed, a particle of light is called a photon. The de Broglie wavelength of an electron, its wavelength when it behaves like a wave, when fired at a sample, is around 2 picometers. Though due to the lens system used in an electron microscope, the resolution is limited to around 0.1 nanometers. Still, this is 2 million times smaller than light, which is utterly remarkable. So, in summary, microscopes magnify samples, Light microscopes can magnify up to 1,500 times, but are limited by the wavelength of visible light. Electron microscopes use electron beams instead of light and can resolve much finer detail. These advances have enabled biologists to understand many more subcellular structures. If you found this video useful, please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Also, switch on notifications so you know when our next video on enzymes is out. See you then!